Arecibo Observatory, Puerto Rico. 45 years ago, it sent a powerful radio message deep into space, kickstarting our efforts to make first contact. The Arecibo message was the first communication or attempt to communicate with a uh, possible civilization out there in the galaxy or outside of our galaxy. Today, that message is speeding towards the M13 galaxy cluster, 25,000 light years away. It contains information about our world, where we are, even the makeup of our DNA. The purpose of this message was, of course, like trying to say hi and also like to light up this question about are we alone in the universe? But what chances are there that an intelligent alien race is out there waiting to receive our message? Do I think there's other intelligent life out there in the universe? The answer is a resounding yes. Yes, I do. We know that life began on Earth pretty much as soon as our planet solidified. So why wouldn't that have happened somewhere else? If life has evolved on other worlds, just how many alien civilizations are out there that we could potentially contact? Astronomer Frank Drake developed an equation to help answer this crucial question. The Drake equation is a really admirable attempt to apply some quantitative reasoning to the probability or the possibility that there is life beyond the Earth. You multiply the star formation rate for stars in our galaxy times the number of planets that each star has times the probability that you would have life forming on that planet times the probability that that life form becomes intelligent and they estimated that there were about 10,000 intelligent civilizations within our galaxy. Since the Drake equation was first proposed, our understanding of the galaxy has radically transformed. We have now discovered worlds outside our solar system, exoplanets. Exoplanets are being discovered all over the place. There are about 4,000 of them now known, and techniques are finding more every day. Scientists believe what we've found is the tip of the iceberg. So if the cosmos is so good at making planets, perhaps it can produce the conditions to make life throughout the universe. When the Drake equation was devised all those decades ago, we didn't know that exoplanets existed. And now we think that there are quite literally more planets than there are stars in the universe. So even if life is really rare, there are an enormous number of chances for it to take hold in the universe. And for this reason, it is very likely that there is life relatively abundant in the universe, including an uncountable number of advanced alien civilizations. This isn't science fiction, it's just basic probability. Probabilities suggest a multitude of alien civilizations are out there. So isn't it a little strange we haven't made first contact? I think there's every reason to believe that there are civilizations out there, but we have no evidence of them yet. Why haven't we found other civilizations out there? One answer could be the sheer vastness of the cosmos. Look at all these lights out here over the cityscape. You could think of these lights as like stars in the galaxy. Now, if there's 10,000 communicating civilizations out there in the galaxy, you might think, oh man, look, there's one right there, right down the street. The problem is there are hundreds of billions of stars in the galaxy, which means that maybe our nearest neighbor that we can communicate with is not right there, but way across the city. We live in the suburbs of the Milky Way. 75,000 light years from the furthest edge. Radio signals travel at the speed of light. This speed limit means that any signal sent to the opposite side of the galaxy would take 75,000 years to reach its destination. The thing you have to remember is the galaxy is gigantic. 
Even if there are 10,000 civilizations in the galaxy, it's possible that the distances between stars are just so huge that we're never going to be able to communicate with each other. So the 45-year-old Arecibo radio message could still be tens of thousands of years away from any potential alien civilization. The target was 25,000 light years from here. The message is now 45 light years from here because it's traveling the speed of light. So it's really far from the target. The vast size of the universe is a huge roadblock to making first contact. And the laws of physics prevent radio signals from overcoming it. You just cannot go faster than the speed of light. So our galaxy may be filled with life, filled with civilizations, but they're so far away. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but the universe is just really, really far too large. The universe may be large, but we're putting the most advanced technology on Earth into action to try and speed up the search. There really is a serious, scientifically valid way to go looking for other civilizations. And the Breakthrough Listen Project is really the best thing we have right now. State-of-the-art facilities around the world, radio telescopes, optical telescopes as well, are all looking up to the sky together. Breakthrough Listen is targeting the 1 million stars and 100 galaxies closest to Earth. It is the most comprehensive search for alien communications ever undertaken. If there was an aircraft giving off a radar signal, and that aircraft was around any of the 1,000 nearest stars, the Breakthrough Listen Project could hear that. So if there's something out there that's actually giving off a signal, Breakthrough Listen has a chance to find it. Breakthrough has started by listening in on the nearest 1,700 stars to Earth. So far, silence. This is the wonderfully, beautifully frustrating position that we find ourselves in. We haven't heard anything yet. So we're in this position where a negative result doesn't mean there aren't civilizations, but we have no proof that there are. Breakthrough Listen is just beginning its hunt. There's much more real estate in the cosmos for it to search. It's a big job, demanding a lot of patience. If you go through Drake's equation and find this number of 10,000 intelligent civilizations out there, there are something like 250 billion stars in the galaxy. So that's only one civilization per 25 million stars. That's a lot of cold, Colin. The size of our universe means we could be waiting a very long time to pick up any alien communication. But even if we pick up a signal, it may have arrived too late. If we do receive a message, given that it probably took years to get here, that civilization could be long gone. So are we simply too late? Have any aliens out there already died out? <laughs>